when I think back on the arc of, of the evolution of Michael B. Beckwith, you know, when I was attending uh, USC, um, I had a number of spiritual experiences that I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what was happening to me. And it culminated with an awakening in which I could see they were surrounded by a presence of such love and beauty. The magnitude was beyond any uh, description I could give it, any way that I could articulate it would fall short of what it was. I could never get back in the box again. So my life became dedicated to discovering what had happened to me and what this was. So over a course of a number of years, I was able to integrate into this expanded awareness. And in so integrating, I would say I embodied the frequency so that the, the, my, my, my words is, is a word. My words uh, are activated. It's not just information. You know, it's actually a frequency that emanates from me that I don't, <clears throat> I don't even take credit for it really. I just surrender to it and allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. That is, that is amazing. Uh, so you have a num you are very quotable, <laughs> lots of quotes. So what I'd like to do moving forward with this conversation is just reference some of your quotes that for me personally have really resonated. And I'd love to share those quotes and then uh, ask a question or two. Is that okay? Please. Absolutely. Right. Let's do this. Let's, and let's begin with this one. Your quote practice broadcasting the high vibrations of your inner radiance remembering all the while that the place upon which you stand is holy simply mm -hmm. because you are standing there as beings we have such a hard time with just being it's not enough to just be we have to go we have to do so question for you why is it so hard for us to simply be. Well, I think it's 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 two reasons. One, human beings are most human beings live in the domain of survival, and so there's an insidious uh, fear of not having enough, and so that fear drives people into a state of doing, acquiring, getting, protecting what they get, things of that particular nature. And then the prim primary reason is people just don't know who they are they have a tendency to relegate themselves to thinking that they're merely the son or daughter of their parents, merely what degrees they have, where they were born, uh, all, all of that. But they don't know their spiritual nature. Until one wakes up to their spiritual nature, there's always um, this insidious perception that's being created by a limited personality. So people are on edge, they're in fear, they're, they're worried all the time, they're, they're anxious. Is a high level of anxiety, and and but it, it, that dissipates when one begins to discover their real nature and being through to some some level of spiritual practice that allows them to have an insight into that reality, and then things begin to change. Now I'm not I'm not talking about being religious. I'm talking about our spiritual nature, which is real. It's powerful, and it and it's our real it's our real nature. It's our it's our authentic self. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, the, another one of your quotes that just I, was on repeat in my head for a while is, is this one, the mute button on wow. women has been turned off and women everywhere are standing up. As a result, both women and men will be healed. Yes. So will you take a moment to share why? the silence of some can be harmful for all. Well, you know, obviously historically, the, the dominant culture has oppressed women and people of color for many, many years. And so without the voice of all of us, individuals that are doing the oppressing, they don't get to grow into their real nature as well. They stay stuck in a very small, um, paradigm that's about control, manipulation, force. And so they don't get to grow. They, they stay very, they, they, they stymied, they're stymied in their own expanded awareness. And so as we see the evolution of, of liberation for all people, and in particular women, um, men can't stay the same either. 
So when the mute button is gone, then men have to grow as well. They have to unfold to their real nature and being. And you know, men aren't happy, stuck in an, in an emotionless, dominating, controlling point of view. They're not happy that way, even though uh, they may feel some level of security in that particular culture. But when, when the least of us begin to rise up and begin to expand and begin to speak out, it heals everyone because the oppressor, the oppressor energy is not healthy and it's not whole and it's not healed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense for sure. Um, you know, so I'm reminded of this powerful quote of yours, perhaps one of my favorites. Um, they're all favorites, but this one in particular. <laughs> um, every time I turn on a lamp, and I think you know where I'm going with this one. We've gotten caught up in thinking we are what we look like, the physical, mm. the exterior. We think we're the lampshade. We've forgotten that we are the light, the electricity and the luminosity that lights up every man, woman, and child. The light is who we truly are. One of my favorites. <laughs> And yet, and yet, our default seems to be to see ourselves only as shades. So question for you here, how do we change that default setting? How can we see ourselves and remember the light that we are? I love that quote too, <laughs> because it actually explains our real nature and being on, on so many levels. First of all, um, when we think about electricity, electricity is everywhere. It never runs out, even though they'll meter it and sell it to you and things. But it's, it's, it's infinite, it's everywhere. But it gets to be seen through a light bulb, and then there are lamp shades around that light, 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 light bulb. We are an emanation of that electricity. We're the light, we're the luminosity itself, but we have forgotten. So in order, in order to wake up to that, there must be some level of sincerity that is a desire to wake up to it. There, be some, there must be some level of intention, which leads to a level of spiritual practice, which can include study, it can include meditation, it can include prayer, it can include the yogic practices, it can include how you take care of your body temple. But at a certain point, you have an awareness that you're more than the body. You're more than the color of your skin. You're more than your sexual orientation. You're more than where, what country you were born in. Those are small descriptions, but oftentimes people get, get caught up in the small limiting description rather than the macro, rather than the large real description. So what happens is when you discover your real nature, you, you you're, the lamp bulb and the lamp shade is used to reveal the luminosity. It's like uh, we were able to take our eternal nature and paint on the landscape of time and space with the colors of our soul. It's, it's, a, it's a whole different way of living. And so now what do we do? We're radiating. What are we doing? We're shining, we're glowing, we're sharing, we're giving from an inexhaustible source that is within us. But we have to wake up to that, you see? And so people, I like to say sometimes are dimensionally challenged. They're only living in three dimensions, which is a very small package when they're only living from the five senses and, and are forgetting that we have eyes because we see, we have ears because we hear. It's not the other way around. It's not because it's not, you don't see because you have eyes. You don't hear because you have ears. You actually see first and you hear first. That's a spiritual faculty and it produces eyes and ears to hear in this dimension, but most people are caught up in this dimension. And it, it's not anybody's fault. I mean, you know, we're caught, we, think we, we think we are our body, we think we are our possessions. But again, with just a little bit of intention and spiritual practice, a whole new world opens up to you. And when you begin to live in that world, you're in this other world, but you're of a higher frequency. And this is the whole impetus of people waking up spiritually. And until that happens, all of the issues that we're facing in humanity, they'll never be permanently solved because individuals are not in their real nature. 